Hey there YouTube, this is Cinday for Cinday Reviews and today I'm going to be talking about a black and white film. It's called The Black Castle and I'm going to look at my notes real quick. It stars Richard Green, Boris Karloff, Stephen McNally, Paula Corday, and Lon Chaney. And one of the supporting characters is Michael, I don't know if it's pronounced Pate or Michael Pate. He's an Australian actor. And uh, this is uh, one of the uh, period pieces. It's Some people list it as a horror, but to me it's more like a dramatic thriller. And it's based in somewhere around the 16 to 1700s. Uh, <clears throat> one of the things that uh, I find uh, sad is like when I see films like this that have such interesting and intricate costumes is because they're in black and white, I, we don't get to see the color of the fabrics. And to me, uh, something is is definitely lost. Even though the black and white uh, film has an interesting look to it and is definitely a unique genre in and of itself, uh, I still would have liked to see what those costumes would have looked like in color. So basically this film is about uh, some uh, noble guy uh, who's played by the Stephen McNally, uh, what happens is he has some friends that are missing and he thinks they've been murdered. So he ends up uh, getting an invitation to this Lord's place and <clears throat> he's the suspect that the guy has in mind was well, he thinks had uh, gone ahead and killed his friends. And uh, the reason he thinks so is because there was a confrontation in Africa between uh, some people in, uh, I believe it was military, uh, versus this, uh, I believe, a count. And the count ended up uh, getting injured and losing his dominion over a large swath of Africa because he had planned on basically making it in. To his own little uh, empire. So we get to see him travel cross country and go into the Black Castle. And we can see the different intrigues that are going on. Um, one of the outstanding characters for me was the one that was played by uh, Michael Pate. I mean his, his look that he had, uh, he really sold uh, that he was the Count's henchman. Unfortunately, uh, both Lon Chaney and Boris Karloff end up not really doing a lot in the film. Uh, Lon Chaney is mostly a, uh, a, a mute, uh, a t tough guy. And then Boris Karloff has a, has a minor role as a uh, doctor. So we get to see uh, the lead up to uh, what's going on. And we get to notice, okay, well, this is how this is going to play out. The, the Count is made aware uh, that the guy that uh, he was hosting oh, happens to be somebody that he's met in battle and ends up being the reason that he lost uh, vision out of one of his eyes. Uh, fortunately for the Count, the, the guy had left. But then uh, he gets, the guy that left gets pulled back because he's afraid of what's going to happen to the lady of the house because the things and the intrigues that were going on in the castle. So you can see 
the plot developing you know, uh, and one trope um, that I don't like is the one way they started this out uh, was basically foreshadowing what's going to happen in the very end and they put it at the very beginning <clears throat> so you you see something go okay well you know they're going to get to this point at some point in the film and but you don't know where it's going to go from there and there was a few surprises and I think that uh, they were well planned out one of the more humorous things I, I found about the film is when they went on a hunt they were going to hunt this uh, I think it was a cheetah or, but it ended up looking like a black panther but I know there are some cheetahs that are really really dark uh, in color and the funniest scene was uh, the lead fighting this stuffed animal I, I, they look like a stuffed animal but then there's some points where I'm like well is this a trained cat and he's just playing with it on on one uh, shot and then they switch it out for the stuffed animal but it was still humorous I guess it would be exciting uh, to audiences that haven't seen anything like that before overall I, I found it uh, an enjoyable watch and it's interesting to see where the story's going to go. And it's around uh, 82 minutes or so. So you can definitely watch it. I would give it a B on the film scale. This is well acted. Uh, but I would have liked to see more from both Lon Chaney as, as his character doing more things. Other than just being a, a big brutish guy. And... Boris Karloff other than the few scenes that he had <clears throat> so if you like this review go ahead and hit that like button go ahead and throw a comment down below let me know what you want to see in the future and I'll see y'all in the next review